Knowing the difference between popular and scholarly periodicals doesn't necessarily make it any easier for you to distinguish between the two when first sitting down to do your research. If you are using the library's online catalog to do your research, you can select the scholarly and peer review filter from the Refine Your Search menu on the left-hand side of your screen. If you are doing your research using an internet search engine, though, it gets a bit harder to tell if the articles that you find are from scholarly periodicals or if they are from popular ones. As a result, we have compiled a list of things to look for when reading an article in order to help you tell if the article that you are reading is popular or if it is scholarly. When trying to distinguish between scholarly and popular articles, you want to take a closer look at the author of the article, the length of the article, the language used within the article, the content of the article, and finally, the title of the periodical that the article is published in. For example, popular articles are usually written by journalists or freelance writers, who aren't necessarily experts in the fields that they are writing about. Unlike scholarly articles, popular articles tend to be short. If an article that you are reading is just a few paragraphs long, then it's probably a popular article. The language found within popular articles is often much easier to understand than the language found within scholarly articles. If an article contains less formal language, such as slang, then it's probably a popular article. Popular articles, unlike scholarly articles, tend to include advertisements, as well as glossy photographs or illustrations. If you see a lot of advertisements or extraneous photographs in an article that you are reading, it's probably a popular article. Finally, if you are reading an article from a publication whose title you recognize from newsstands or grocery store checkout lines, then the article you are reading is most definitely from a popular magazine and not from an academic journal. On the flip side, if the author or authors of a particular article that you are reading lists their degrees, titles, credentials, or institutional affiliations alongside their names, then the article that you are reading is most likely a scholarly article. Scholarly articles also tend to be longer than popular ones. If the article you are reading is more than four to five pages long, it is probably, but not always, a scholarly article. The language found within scholarly articles is usually subject-specific and can be difficult for non-subject specialists to understand. In this instance, the authors of the article use the proper scientific name for marijuana rather than more familiar colloquialisms. Furthermore, articles from scholarly periodicals usually begin with an abstract or an outline of the article's contents and end with a list of references. Unlike popular articles, scholarly articles usually do not contain photographs or ads. Finally, articles in scholarly periodicals are often found in publications with one or more of the following words in their titles, journal, research, review, or studies.